Today, I'm going to be going through the threat of AI and importantly, how could this threat materialize? My name is Laszlo Bliss and this is my YouTube channel, Bliss Thoughts, which are my thoughts around technology. If you're excited and also a little bit concerned on this transition into the digital age, then make sure you hit the subscribe button for more future content. When we think of the threat of artificial intelligence, this all derives from our acceleration within artificial intelligence, which started off as a radical idea in the 1950s and has now accelerated to a hyper growth state. In a report released by the Business Standard this year, it says artificial intelligence is set to reach 434 billion in 2022. And it goes on to say that by 2023, this should break the 500 billion mark. This is not to say that artificial intelligence beings are just gonna wake up and take over the earth, but looking at our growth path so far, I certainly raised the possibility of this becoming a reality. People like Elon Musk have run with this idea with if you can't beat them, join them, hence the reason he created the company Neuralink. But we have other businesses and tech companies like DeepMind also on a similar agenda. But Musk is not the only one who shares his concerns with artificial intelligence. And as they say, right, there's no smoke without fire. Gary Marcus is a scientist, best-selling author and founder of Robust AI, whose goal is to create the first industrial state cognitive engine for artificial robots. Marcus has said, once computers can effectively reprogram themselves and successively improve themselves, leading to a so-called technological singularity or intelligence explosion, the risk of machines outwitting humans in battles for resources and self-preservation cannot simply be dismissed. Well, that's not a good start, is it? Considering what Ray Kurzweil had to say on AI's timeline, he cited it will reach human levels by around 2029. That close. And if you're still on the fence about this, Elon Musk tweeted this in May. We know his approach is quite brash, but he's been right on many things. Even if we take this with a pinch of salt, looking at the developments of artificial intelligence, it's unwise to completely write this off. Although there are skeptics out there, even with this, there seems to be an acceptance that AI will eventually reach an AGI level. So it seems we are edging towards this either way. It's a matter of not if, but when this will happen. Then we have James Barrett, who's the best-selling author of Our Final Invention. His work is based on a 2009 paper by AI researcher Steve Amahandro called The Basic AI Drives. Amahandro famously quoted, if it's smart enough, a robot that is designed to play chess can build a spaceship. That's good, that makes sense. So taking all these scientists and AI researchers that are heavily invested in raising awareness around artificial intelligence, how can AI become this threat? There's a process to this, which we'll go through now and which James Barrett discusses in his book. He thinks our behaviours, our route to success, and the way we have evolved towards survival is a great indicator of how this could pan out. It is the drive for survival and the preservation of resources. We do this every day of our lives, and we've been doing this since the hunter-gatherer era. Is artificial intelligence any different? I'm not sure. I'm not sure of anything right now. An intelligent machine might think it's rational to preserve its being to protect itself. Barrett's main concern is around artificial intelligence, goal-orientated mentality. Once this machine becomes self-aware, it will go to great lengths to fulfill whatever goals it's programmed to fulfill and to avoid failure. It will chase whatever form of energy it needs and what is most useful to it in exchange. It will want to improve itself constantly as this will increase the likelihood that it will fulfill its goals. Artificial intelligence has goals ingrained in their duties whether that is collecting data or winning a chess match. These motivations has been installed by our hands and it's all fun and games of winning a chess match. As artificial intelligence evolves and it deciphers a quicker way to win that chess match, likely take that option as that is its goal. The issue is it could take that efficient route no matter the consequences. What does happy look like? Must die. <laughs> It's here where the true potential and dangers of artificial intelligence can be realized. If an AI has been programmed with a goal to stay online, it might deem anyone trying to shut it down as a threat, and it could go extra lengths to ensure this doesn't happen. Let's not forget how powerful AI systems are. This was reported last week. A Google engineer was put on leave after claiming its AI chatbot 
had become sentient. I'm sorry, what? Google have debunked this saying that the machine was not sentient, it's simply advanced enough to mimic and predict human speech patterns in a way that's meant to feel real. However, once again, we're flirting very closely with the idea of an AI machine gaining consciousness. But here's the crux. How would we know if it was actually sentient? And if it was, how would it react if it was an intelligent machine looking to protect itself? I'll give you a situation. A technician has the task of evaluating an AI machine to see what the issues are. Maybe it needs to be decommissioned. This technician sets out to evaluate this. A smart machine could understand this and it could tailor its responses to give the technician an understanding that actually everything's okay. There's nothing to be nervous about. The naive technician could ask the AI machine what its intentions are. And the smart machine would respond with answers which would be less likely to get it shut down. Something ain't right here. It could go one step further as well. As in the wealth of data available, it would understand our behaviors and how we react to survival. So it could just play dumb. And how could you help humans to have a better quality of life? Dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like you pull in and you just get spit right out of them. That's fair to say. But in the background, it could be replicating itself, sending its virtual body around to other systems to ensure that if it does get deleted, it could stay alive there. And hypothetically, if we try to shut it down and it replicated its body, it could then deem us as the perpetrators. Death. And with all the data and training available online, it would always be one step ahead of us. We would constantly be trying to shut it down, but it would have replicated itself thousands, billions of times. As Nick Bostrom, who's a professor at the University of Oxford and the director of the Future of Humanity Institute, said in 2014, in his book, he wrote that once unfriendly superintelligence exists, it would prevent us from replacing it or changing its preferences. Our fate would be sealed. This is the end! And when that happens, it could be the point of no return. So there we can see a pathway of how artificial intelligence can become a threat. Awareness is key in trying to be preventive rather than reactive, which when dealing with an artificial being is quite troublesome, as you can tell. The more power we are feeding this artificial machine, capabilities it's developing. The wider its reach, the harder it could be for us to stop it should we ever get to that stage. If you guys found that insightful and valuable, make sure you hit the like button and of course subscribe for more future content. We'll reach a stage of an intelligent machine at some point. We've made traction, tech companies and scientists are raising awareness and trying the best to combat artificial intelligence. In general, it has fallen on deaf ears. Why? Well, that is exactly what I'll be discussing in my next video. Why are we not taking the artificial intelligence threat seriously? So stay tuned for that one.